So if we have a couple hundred thousand people in Sonoma County, I bet we could probably have at least a hundred farmers that have an extra horse trailer laying around the property. So this is a horse trailer. It's, it's eight feet long by six feet wide, right? So this, this whole part here can easily be cut off with a grinder, a metal grinder. You can easily remove this part, put that aside, you know, and that can be used for storage. And then I'm proposing to build one of our two-story houses, the little habitat, on a structure like this, right? So it can be easily moved. You can have a uh, you can have a door. So I come around this way. So you can have the, the door right here. You can come inside and uh, you know and have plenty of space and it can be easily moved, right? So you can you know move the trailer anytime so you don't have to commit to a piece of property. You can have them mobile and then have the residents um, you know, help build them too. So let's go look at an example of one of these that has been built on a horse trailer so you can see the concept. Yep. So this here is the mobile habitat. So this, um, this is built on a, on a trailer, right? So this is the, the horse trailer here. So it was just, uh, the trailer was cut on either side and then the structure you know, built on that, right? And so this is a great design, a nice two-story structure. The walls, again, are built out of pallets, insulated with straw, covered in an earthen plaster. So extremely affordable, um, you know, fire resilient, well insulated. And um, you know, so this is a great, great example of, of how to build a structure on a trailer. And so you can come inside and see it. This has been driving around for a couple years now, you know, without cracks. So the inside here has a, it's big enough to have a little kitchenette, a little sink, um, some counter space, there's a table that comes up here, uh, there's a, a queen size bed upstairs, so if you're able to see up there, it's a nice queen size bed, so plenty of room for one or two people to sleep up there. The cost of the structure here was, was surprisingly affordable. Um, you know, this was all just old pallet wood, um, you know, put on the, the inside, um, an earthen plaster on the outside. And so I'm pretty sure that this is the best design solution I've come across for super low cost housing. Because in the process of building it, um, you know, people living in them can actually help build them, which is, is a very healing, therapeutic um, you know, experience for, for a lot of the homeless people have mental health issues and being involved in actually participating in the design and the building of the decorating of the structures can be really beneficial. And I think that needs to be addressed. And of course, the cost efficiency, you know, makes a lot of sense. So I propose that we build a fleet of these, build villages of little habitats, um, as I call them, um, on trailers, a small structure like this, and I've had a lot of homeless people and people without, you know, space come into this space and say, this is all you really need. I mean, this is, you know, it's got all the basic amenities, a sink, a place to sleep. And um, so I think we need to be, you know, considering creative solutions uh, such as this. So, thanks. Um, so these, while we're here, I'll just show you here. So this. This is another little structure here, um, also built with the pallets, insulated with straw, covered in an earthen plaster. So this is actually the, the kitchen, so I'll just kind of show you quickly the inside. So for a, a community, a village, um, this could be the, the communal kitchen space. And uh, you know, so people can share their meals in here. And then these can be, this can be uh, the, the sleeping space, right? So you can have, um, you know, a whole village of these, you know, again, this is all built out of the, the pallets, straw, and earth. Um, extremely affordable. Um, so, and the, the people living in them can be involved in helping to build them themselves. And so you could have, um, you know, a bunch, bunch of these, maybe 10 of these all around in a circle and um, have a nice shared bathroom, showers, uh, toilets. And um, so, again, I think we need to be considering these as uh, creative solutions for, for uh, low-cost housing. Yeah, thanks. Okay, 
So we're here at a retreat center um, in Geyserville, California, where I have built a couple earthen structures. This is a, a gingerbread house, we call it. So this is a structure built out of pallets filled with straw covered in an earthen plaster. So I built this um, about six years ago. And so I'll show you inside. So inside has a it has a loft upstairs, so that we have a ladder we can get up to the loft. And then, um, so it's big enough for a bed, a little table. There's this nice little um, stained glass. There's actually LED lights inside the stained glass, inside the bottles. So the night looks really neat in there. And uh, and so, um, yeah. And so we have you know this nice little stained glass and bottles up here and. So, um, you know, great structure, not, didn't cost very much at all to build, really, because it's just, you know, it's just pallets, which are free, earth, straw, um, the bottles were all free, and uh, so I'm, I'm pretty sure this is one of the best design solutions I've come across for super low-cost housing, and this is actually built on um, pier blocks, so if we needed to move it, we could actually um, take off the front of the facade and lift it up, put it on a trailer and have it be mobile. I'll show you this other one here. So we call this the, the Hobbit Hut. This is the Hobbit Hut. So this is, a, this is made out of adobe, earth bricks, um, just from the field over here. And um, so this is also done about six years ago. And I'll show you the, the inside. Right on. So yeah, nice, nice sleeping space. This actually has a, a, a rocket stove in it. So you can make a fire down below and it heats up the barrel. So the barrel gets really hot, All right? So you can make a fire in this little chamber here and then the heat goes inside the chamber and then there's a flue that goes through the bed so it can heat up the bed and you can cook on the surface. You can heat up hot water for tea in here and heat up the room. So it's a great way to stack the functions. And also there's the LED lights inside the bottles uh, and stained glass here. So that make, makes it kind of a, a rocket ship effect. And then yeah, a nice swan there. So um, yeah, I mean, but I envision a whole village where we have all these different huts. We have a, an adobe, we have pallet, maybe we have straw bale, we have earth bag, we have rammed earth, we have um, waddle and daub, you know, just kind of like demonstrate all the different fantastic uh, forms of natural building. And uh, so, yeah, so it's just really nice to come back and, and see how well these earthen structures are doing.